Compression. Okay. Compression. Let's find a big one. Compression fitting is the best, bar none. And so what you need, of course, this goes on your copper. You have a copper pipe, like for um, dishwasher, sinks, dishwasher, sinks, refrigerator, whatever. And you slide that, that over. And then as you slide that over, and your pipe is fitting into here, then your As you're tightening this down, and the more you tighten it, the more it causes that ring to pull together and won't pull off the. And it, it's, it has a really good compression seal. That's why they call it compression seals. Now these are better. The other ones, where did I get this? Let me have it. Okay, it's yours. Here you go. Thank you, sir. Okay, now we need to go to the flare department. Uh, we're getting there. Okay, here's one. Now we need the nut. The nut. No, nope. we're looking for the flare nut. What is that? Three eighths, right there. That's it. Okay, now your flare nut is a little bit more complicated, and I'll go find the tool here in a minute. But your pipe would go through the flare nut, and as it's stuck through, then we take the what we call a compression flare nut tool. A flaring tool. Flaring tool. Yeah. And it's and it's designed to do exactly what it says. It squashes down on the pipe, and you tighten down, which we'll show you here in a second, the bolt. And it flares out the end. Well, then the flare to end goes on to the flare that you have on, let's just say, refrigerator, dishwasher. Ah, looky here. Man, we got a guy that's on the ball. Okay, here's our flaring tool. We even have pipe. Hot dog. Dang. I'm surrounded by intelligent people for a change. Now I'm gonna take this out of my pocket when I leave. <laughs> so I'm gonna put it in my pocket so I don't lose it. Okay, it's in my pocket. Okay, now here's the flaring tool. One side you can see has the flared side. So you wanna make sure that you've got the right side sticking out. All right. Fine, and you can go through here and find the right size. You stick it out just a hair above the tool, not much, just a little. Then you have your flaring part of the tool. Uh, if I can get this thing wound up. Yeah. I'm getting there. You want to help you? You may have to. Let's, let's go down here where I can have some of this. Oh, I see what it is. Well, you can put your nut in first, sir. I think that's what I need to do. Ah. That's a good point, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> Joe just brought up a good point. Put the nut on first. Because once you flare, you can't get the yeah. nut on there. And that's too small. We were looking at, we got to the, we got to the wrong size copper. We well do the uh well anyway since we don't have the right flare nut yeah there you go okay good okay now we do have the right flare nut slide that on there first make sure you've got the right side is flaring thumbs just a hair slide this on there about where it goes. Tighten this down to center it on the pipe. Just to snug it up. Then you latch down your your lock, which in turn closes the gap. Uh, about as tight as you can get it. 
and then you turn. You getting this, Joe? Man, I got you, bro. You got me. Okay, we're going. Now this is this is why this is a little, lot more difficult than what they had back in the day, man. That's right. This is all they had back in the days. I don't think people know how to flare anymore. Uh, nobody knows how to flare anymore. Okay, we're getting there. Okay, you, you run it all the way down until it pretty much stops, but you want to leave a little because you want the nut to finish up the flare on the, uh, the boat. Everything comes off, and you open that up. Now this is not the perfect flare, but it's a good enough flare for what we need. All right, and then you run bolt to the end, and then you screw on the other nut, end. and then you to tie it, tie it, tie it as you can get it, so that you get a good seal. So you can get a good seal on top of that boat. Are we through, Joe? We are finished. We are finished. Thank you. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh.